This video is brought to you by Hollow 12. Hollow 12 biology courses are aligned with the curriculum of over 150 countries. What is photosynthesis? Let's start by reminding ourselves of what photosynthesis is. Photo means a light, and synthesis means putting together. That is what photosynthesis is, it describes how plants can use sunlight to produce molecules of sugar. To do so, it takes in water and carbon dioxide, and releases oxygen into the atmosphere. Photosynthesis essentially supports all life on Earth, as many organisms rely on plants and algae as a food source, either directly or indirectly. It also maintains stable levels of carbon dioxide and oxygen in the atmosphere. Photosynthesis reaction Let's take a closer look at the photosynthesis reaction. In plant cells, there are specialized organelles called chloroplasts that perform photosynthesis. They contain the green photosynthetic pigment, called chlorophyll, which traps light energy from the sun day. This light energy is converted to chemical energy which is used to power the reactions of photosynthesis. The reactants carbon dioxide and water are converted into the products glucose and oxygen with the help of sunlight. Because it takes in energy, photosynthesis is considered an endothermic reaction. Endo means within and thermic relates to heat. Therefore we can remember that endothermic means to take in energy. The carbon dioxide needed in photosynthesis enters the plant through the stomata in the leaves. The water required in photosynthesis is taken in by the roots and transported to the leaves via the xylem tissue. What happens to glucose? The purpose of photosynthesis is to make glucose. So what happens to the glucose at the end of photosynthesis? Firstly, glucose is used as a reactant in cellular respiration. Both aerobic and anaerobic respiration break down glucose through a series of chemical reactions that release energy for the cell to use to power all its processes. Glucose monomers can also be joined together to form the polysaccharide starch and cellulose. Starch is an insoluble molecule that is used as an energy source. Cellulose is an important component of the plant cell wall. Glucose can also be converted into fats and oils to store energy in seeds. Finally, glucose can also combine with nitrites, an important component of the nutrients in the soil, to create amino acids. Amino acids are the monomers that make proteins. Go to our website, hollow12.com, to find out more about our great courses. Thank you. See below for links, and don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell to keep notified of our latest videos.